Lane lie on their backcourts to lead the way for them. And if anything, it should make for an entertaining basketball game. And it becomes a little bit of a chess match when it's a backcourt duel. Those are always fun. So the next starting five. Durant is the four with Claxton playing the five. Kyrie Irving is out there with Ben Simmons. And it's O'Neal in at the small forward position. And it's Durant missing. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Harden the pass to Maxi. Back to Harden. Out to Harris. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Here's Maxi. A three-pointer is right on target. Maxi's got the game going here with the first basket for Philadelphia. And so Simmons will bring it up for the Nets. It's a three-point game. And there's the pass to Durant. To the paint. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Harris. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, Doc Rivers gave me a few minutes to catch up with him. He told me they'll be looking to stretch the defense with their ability to knock down shots from deep. He said success on the outside will translate to success on the inside. Sounds like instead of going inside out, they're going to go outside in. Interesting. Back to you, Kevin. Thank you, David. You know, hard to create spacing without the threes. And that outstanding drive and finish brought to you by Mobile One. Nice take. Staying aggressive with this game still very much up in the air. Maxi passes to Harden. Embiid the screen. Pulls it up. And the basket by Harden. You think about James Harden. Here's a guy who's played with KD, Russ, CP3, Kyrie. So many great players. Now here's Irving. Back to Simmons. And Simmons slams it in. Taking matters into his own hands. Yeah, we didn't expect to see that kind of finish. A point guard getting up like that? Boy, that is special. And it's the 76ers with the ball. After the basket by Brooklyn. And Bede kicks to Maxi. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Maxi's got five points so far. And that's one of the underrated aspects of his game, his passing. He knows the defense expects him to finish the job, but he just drops off a dime. And I thought that was going to drop. It looked good from here. Well, Greg, what can you say about Joel Embiid's growth from a leadership perspective? Pretty impressive, isn't it? Tremendous, Kevin. Carrying the Sixers with everything they went through, even though he came in second in MVP voting two years in a row, no player more important to his team than Joel Embiid. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played, Here's Simmons. Pass to KD. Over Harris. Another one falls for Brooklyn. And Durant's jumper is as pure as it gets. You just assume ahead of time it's going in. Embiid with a screen on Irving. No one near Maxi as he lets it fly. Can't nail the jump. Oh, man, that's tough. That's definitely one he'd like back. Almost too wide open. Irving finds Simmons. Back to Irving. Passes it to Durant. Traps in the tray. KD's got his second basket of the night. We sometimes forget how solid Irving is when it comes to his passing. Great find there. Pass to Embiid. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Maxi. Trying to come right back with the three of his own, but it's no good. And here is Simmons. And that won't go, missing the go-ahead bucket. The 76ers leading. Here's Maxi, And he banks in the layup. maxi has got seven points in the game. He just makes it look so easy on offense. Like, who takes pleasure in torturing defenses? He does. Irving surveying the floor. Over Maxi. 
and that one's good Irving determined to produce Kyrie he is just relentless he is always putting pressure on the defense outside Maxi. he dishes it to Harden takes the three sinks the triple Harden's got his second basket and they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now here's Durant. He's got five. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And never say never, but we might never see another player who combines the length and guard skills of Kevin Durant. He's a player who completely breaks the mold. free throw good from Durant and when you think about Durant's singularity as a player Steve Kerr said he's more gifted than Michael Jordan great what do you think of that well Steve's had a first-hand view coaching KD and playing alongside Jordan he didn't say greater but more gifted I think it's a conversation Durant hits them both it's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line and Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. Seventy sixers have gone six of ten from the field in this ball game. Harden with it. He's got five. Harris outside. And that one is off. Some solid defense there from KD. Now Simmons, now the pass to O'Neal. And again, it's the Nets missing. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Pass to Thibault. Tipped away and stolen by Simmons. Outside Irving. To Simmons out of bounds Philadelphia takes possession Philadelphia has gone three or four on three pointers in the first quarter doing well from long range Harden the pass to Harris outside Maxi and Bede kicks to Maxi that's good, and that's indeed with the assist. Maxi's got 10. A uh, great look provided by Embiid. The big man just dropping dimes. And the first timeout called of the game for Brooklyn.
And Philadelphia making a change here. Milton's checked in. And a switch here for Brooklyn. Morris is checked in for Durant. Brooklyn with the ball, trailing by five. Now here's Simmons. There's O'Neal with the three. Here's Claxton, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. And just scrapes and claws for that offensive rebound and, and doesn't take any chances there with the put. -down. The GA strong work all around, and the mm -hmm. rebound and the stuff both. Wow. Here's Milton after the basket by Brooklyn. And beat inside, covered by Irving. That one is good from Joel Embiid. No stopping Embiid inside. He is a beast. Here's Irving. And last season, the Nets were a favorite to win it all. But Greg, a first round sweep by the Celtics proved a very rude awakening. And Kyrie missing so many games. How about Harden wanting out? Hard to build chemistry and continuity. That has to be the focus moving forward. And the wide open shot from Morris. Good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got three assists tonight. Harden the pass to Milton. Off target from three-point range. And so Simmons will bring it up for Brooklyn. Passes it to Irving. Let's it go with a three. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Nets will retain possession. The Anthony Melt. He's checked in for Matisse Thibel. The Nets also changing it up. Thomas comes in for Irving. That's Mills in for Simmons. Pass to Mills. Nets passing it around. Shot clock at six. Outside Thomas. Can't tie it up as that one misses. Philadelphia has gone 4-6 from long range here early on. Embiid with a screen on Thomas. Harden the pass to Melton. No good on the three. The Nets have gone an even 50% from the field. They are 7-14 of 14 for the game. Mills dishes to Thomas. And the pass to Claxton. From 12 feet out. And they're unable to get the time basket there. Milton finds Harden. Now Milton. Pass to Embiid. And they double up Embiid. Down low. Here's Milton. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. Assisted basket. Coaches just love those, so credit Harris for the pass. Mills passes to Thomas. They set the pick. Back to Mills. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Yeah, and I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for the 76ers. Then for the Nets, Sharps checked in for Nicholas Claxton. Antonabi's in for Royce O'Neal. Here's Melton. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And here's M.B. Over Sharp. And the shot goes in from M.B. And the 76ers lead by six. Now, look, he can certainly extend his range, but Embiid is very comfortable from distance. Here's the screen. The three from Thomas. That's a no-go, and he's still looking for his first bucket after two shots. Philadelphia shooting has been tremendous early. Their offense looking primed and ready for this matchup. Milton with it. 
driving in. The three from Harden. That's in, and he's now three for three and looking sharp. Nice play, and you can see they're gathering momentum. Yeah, but they can't relax. They've got to keep building on this lead because it is not safe. Now, here's Thomas, and here's Mills from the arc. It's hauled in by the 76ers. And Bede's got seven rebounds in the game. Milton in the corner. One thirty-two left here in the first quarter. Oh, and James Harden throws it down hard. Oh, that has to hurt if you're the defense. Harden getting fancy with the jam. Nets trail by 11. Now Mills. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Stolen by Harden. Inside. Here's Embiid. And that one drops for him. In the mold of Shaq, Joel Embiid is physically just overwhelming. Plus, he's got some touch and skill. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the 76ers. Durant's checked in for the Nets. Kyrie Irving comes in for Thomas. And Greg, the Philadelphia 76ers have made it very clear that they are all in on a title run. And their front office has been very focused on trying to get top-tier talent on this roster. After the trust the process here, they're now aggressively pursuing titles here in Philly. And again, it's the Nets missing. The 76ers leading by 14. And there's a foul. We'll go on Shake Milton. That's his first foul. Yeah, way to get there first and be willing to absorb the contact. Montrez Harrell, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Tyrese Maxey comes in for James Harden. Nets trail by 14. 36 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Now here's Durant. Seven points in the game. Passes to Watsonabe. Six on the shot clock. That's in coming off the assist from KD. Give some love to KD there, making the unselfish play. We've got 22 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Up top, Maxi, covered by Mills. Here's Maxi. Ten points for him. Pass to Milton. Over Irving. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. The first quarter concludes in a double-digit lead on the scoreboard. 76ers ahead. They're up by 11. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. Guys, 76ers pretty much in control here, it would seem. They came in on a mission, razor-sharp offense in that first period. Can they keep up the pace? Who knows? But they're already in a great position to win this one. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Nets. 11-point game. On the court right now, second quarter starting for the Nets. Irving is out there with Mills. Then it's Sharp, and it's Durant, and it's Watsonabe in at the three spot. Philadelphia's gone, five of eight from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. To the paint, here's Melton, and he lays it straight in. Melton's got the first basket of the second quarter for Philadelphia. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. Yeah, they got to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. And so it's Brooklyn with it after the Sixers pick up two. Irving, good on the baseline, Jay. 
Irving's got six. This is Irving's mentality. He understands that he is out there to shoot and shoot often, especially off the catch. The 76ers leading by 11. And here is Milton. The pass to Maxi. Now here's Melton. Down low, here's Milton. The rebound by Sharp. Nets trail by 11. To the inside. And it's Durant, that time on the assist by Mills. Nine points for Kevin Durant. And that's tough right there. Love when Durant goes up with purpose and finishes over contact. A minute and a half gone here in the second quarter. Button the pass to Maxi. Another three for Philadelphia. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Mills with it. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Three-pointer. That one's not going to go. Not sure why he keeps trying his luck from deep here. It's just not his night. Pass to Melton. Beyond the arc. The shot. No good. So Brooklyn will take it the other way. And with an update from the sidelines, let's check in with David Aldridge. Thank you, guys. Now, Tobias Harris has been the leading scorer on teams in the NBA. But on the Sixers, he understands his role is different. He says, I'm not a guy who's going to press for looks. The ball's going to flow how it flows, and I just got to be ready when the opportunity comes my way. That's what winning basketball is all about. Kevin? David, thank you. Now, Maxie, following the three-point attempt by Kyrie Irving. One thing you hear about officiating is you're able to get away with much more in the paint, Richard, than you are on the perimeter. So what's the solution? Uh, call it closer in the paint and looser on the outside? Where should we go? I think you just need to let them play everywhere, to tell you the truth. Because I like it when games become a little bit more physical. Because you get to see who's in the best condition. You get to see who are the stronger players. And then, up top, you got to be smart. Because the smart will take from the strong. Now Irving. He's got six. Mills looking it over. Shoots the three. And again, it's the Nets missing. Credit to him for trying to get that three right back. Missed the shot, but that's a fighter's mentality. Pass to Tucker. On the wing, Milton. Here's Harrell. Hits the jump hook. And the 76ers lead by 17. And improving as a shot maker every year. Harrell has to be accounted for defensively. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Can they get it? Two points. That one goes. Irving's got eight points. Nice ball movement there. That's how you break down the defense. Timeout call, the 76ers.
And some changes here for the 76ers. Matisse Thibel comes in for Melton. And it's James Harden in for Maxi. And so Harden will bring it up for Philadelphia. They've only given up six here in this quarter. Closing in on four minutes played here in the second quarter. Thibel kicks to Milton. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's going to be on Kyrie Irving. And with the offense getting right to the rim, at least they saved the layup. It's his first trip to the line. No good on that one. And the Nets, Richard, are trying to build a legacy where they're recognized as one of the league's true glamour franchises. And they've got the star power and they've got the market. you got an ownership that is willing to pay for it. They will do everything, but ultimately it's going to be the players and how they perform on the court that will dictate how the success is viewed. The infrastructure is there. Now can they get the players to fill the role? Now here's Mills. No points in the game yet for him. Pass to Irving. Outside for Durant. Here's Watanabe. Here's Irving. Again, the Nets for two. Just outstanding distribution. This is the kind of team chemistry that you love to see. Milton the pass to Harden. Puts up a three. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. One thing about Harden, he makes the game look so easy. Ladies and gentlemen, do not try this at home. This man just drops bombs. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And the 76ers making a change here. Embiid's checked in. And then for Brooklyn, Markeith Forrest is checked in for Durant. Royce O'Neal comes in for Watanabe. And Thomas subbed in for Irving. Nets trail by 17. Now here's Mills. Dishes to O'Neal. Right side, Thomas. The pass to Sharp. Four on the shot clock. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. When you have an MVP caliber player like Joel Embiid, you have to be in win mode now. And the Sixers are doing everything they can to get their big fella to the finals. free throw missing is it hard Richard to balance the present and the future if you're a team like the 76ers no no you should have a hundred percent focus on here and now why because players like Embiid only come around every 20 30 years in your franchise so you should just hedge all of your bets and try and get it done while you have the window and it feels like that is truly the direction there, there's no deviating from it at all no, that's the direction. You look at the champions, the Golden State Warriors, the Milwaukee Bucks, the Lakers. They have all done the same thing. They went into win-now mode. Thomas against Harden. Pass to Sharp. The three from Mills. Nailed from three-point land. 
Mills has got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. And here is Milton. Passes it to Harden. He kicks to Embiid. Brooklyn with the rebound. Pass to Mills for three. And the Nets, another three. Proving once again, he is one of the best shooters in the league. And the pass to Embiid. Another miss by Philadelphia. Nets trail by 11. In the corner, O'Neal with it. And it's off from three-point range. And it's Harden with the ball for the Philadelphia 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Milton kicks to MB. Fourteen feet away. Again, MB missing. Brooklyn's gotten cold from deep in the second quarter, just two of six from long range. Pass to Sharp. Good, and the assist goes to Thomas. Sharp's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Brooklyn. Philadelphia's gone three of five beyond the arc since the start of the second quarter. Harden bounce pass. Here's Embiid. And he overshot that one, missing. Well, I, and that's what you get when you go for style points with the fadeaway. And look, he paid the price. Mills passes to Thomas. Steps back and fires. It's hauled in by Feibel. A 76ers leading by nine. Harden left side. But some of James Harden's career numbers are crazy. But he's also got a lot of firsts to go along with those overall totals, like the first 60-point triple-double. And Harden was the first player to average 35 points and seven assists in a season. Yeah, and that was in the 2018-19 season. The same year, he was also the first player to score at least 30 points against every other team. No one had done that since the NBA expanded in 2004. The first free throw is good. The southpaw, hard, lucky lefty. He's a tremendous offensive player who can pretty much get triple doubles in bunches. Here's what Philadelphia is going with right now. Harris has checked in for P.J. Tucker. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Matisse Thibel. And Maxi subbed in for Shake Milton. A big group substitution here for Brooklyn. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Sharp. Kevin Durant comes in for Morris. Kyrie Irving's checked in for Thomas. And it's Ben Simmons in for Patty Mills. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Claxton the pass to Irving. And it's tonight. And that's out of bounds. It was last touch by Maxi. Let's take a second look at that fantastic block. And big defensive plays like that will help them stay in control of this one. Five on the clock for three. Durant, good, and the assist goes to Irving. Irving's got four assists in the game. The confidence that Durant has in his three-point shot is something special. He doesn't doubt his selections at all. And the 76ers call time here.
The 76ers leading by eight. Harris passes to Maxey. The dish to Harden. Shoots the three. The offensive rebound. MB. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Hammering the offensive glass. Embiid putting that big size to use. For Philadelphia, they have gone four for five from the charity stripe in this one up to now. And one of the highlights last year for this group was the fact that they were so efficient from the charity stripe. That's a huge factor. one misses and I feel like one of the more underrated aspects of Embiid's game is his passing he understands that teams are going to bring two sometimes three you have to make quick decisions with the ball when that happens Embiid he embraces that challenge high arcing shot and it's laid in by Maxi. and now it's a 12 point Philadelphia lead And it's Irving with the ball for the Brooklyn Nets. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Superb concentration from Irving. He's excellent at sticking with his shot through contact. And Kyrie Irving, a Picasso with the ball in his hands. And like a lot of genius-level creators, he marches to the beat of his own drum. good from Irving and you know Greg Kyrie sometimes is just a tough guy to figure out and the danger is pulling too much in your own direction even he confessed regrets about in Cleveland withdrawing from teammates and isolating himself all part of growth Harden finds Embiid offline with his three Nets trail by nine passes it to Irving to Claxton six to shoot back to Irving and it's Philadelphia with the rebound and Bede's got the glass covered here tonight 11 boards for him Maxi, no good Brooklyn's gone for the three pointer seven times here in the second and been successful three times Irving misses of 76ers leading by nine. Outside, Maxi. Harden outside. The tray. Rebounded by the Nets. Durant feeling it out a bit. The pass to Simmons. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Embiid's got 13 rebounds in the game. Class eating. Maxi with it. He's got 15. Pass to Harris. The three from Harden. Kept alive. That one is good from Joel Embiid. Embiid's got four points now in the quarter. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Here's KD. After the made shot from Joel Embiid, he gets it in there. Durant's got 14 points. Just maybe the best scoring forward of all time, and by maybe I mean he is. Yet again, it's Durant with a big night. Now the feed to Harris. In the corner, it's Melton. Doesn't get it to drop for him. The Nets go the other way with it. To the middle, out of bounds, it'll be 76ers ball. 
There's one for the low light. Wow. I'm not sure who messed up the pass, but look, somebody did. 112 left in the first half of basketball. Knocks it loose. O'Neal with it. And it's Harden picking him up. Pass to Melton. That one drops, and he's now two for five. Man, haven't we seen that a few times today, guys? I mean, their defense has got to have a little bit more toughness about it. 46 seconds left now here in the second. Outside Irving. Over Maxi. Count it. And the 76ers lead has been cut to just nine on the basket from Kyrie Irving. The mid-range Irving is so consistent. He can hit that shot whenever he needs to. Now, here's Maxi. 15 points in the game. On the wing, Harris. Shot clock at six. Embiid the screen. And the 76ers get it back. Count that one. 13 points in the game. A gifted interior score. When Embiid establishes himself down there, he is almost automatic. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. For Brooklyn, they had made three of five free throw attempts. And last season, when they got themselves to the line, they usually came through as a team up around 81%. That one falls for Irving. Something that really speaks to Kyrie's talent is his ability to impact the game the minute he steps on the floor. The game changes completely with the ball in his hands. And so he hits both. And so it's Philadelphia in control with a nine-point lead to end the quarter. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we've got more M2K Sports coming your way after this break. We've got third quarter of basketball for you. Two quarters in the books. You look at Kyrie Irving in this game. He has been everywhere. Man, how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Harrison and Bede are manning the post positions. Harden out there with Maxi, And it's Feibel in at the three spot. That's the five to begin the second half for Doc Rivers. Well, I play for the New Jersey Nets, and look, they made that move across the Hudson back in 2012, relocating to Brooklyn, which I think was the right move. And the basket by Harden. It's crazy. We've gotten used to this effortless dominance from James Harden. He scores in a multitude of ways. Nets trail by eight. Outside Irving. Pass to Claxton. Nets passing it around. Shot from free throw range. Again, the Nets for two. And well over a decade in Brooklyn for the Nets. Richard, what kind of impact has that move had on the franchise? Well, look, it's been great. The arena is fantastic. The fan base is growing. And more importantly, their ability to attract top-tier free agents like KD and Kyrie. They do not join the Nets if they're still in Jersey. 
And it's Harris with the ball for the 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Another miss by Harden. And that was a little bit of a range check for him. Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. And he makes that one. KD's got 16. He's led the league in scoring multiple times. Durant is a problem. There's the pass to Harris. Embiid with it. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by Embiid. A classic breakdown with the ball, sending it right out of bounds and giving the defense a freebie. Nets trail by four. Things really clicking for him at the offensive end. They're making good decisions, not wasting these opportunities. Here's Irving and Brooklyn with another turnover here. No clue where that pass was going. That is a brutal turnover. The 76ers leading by four. Outside, Maxi. And now around two minutes gone by in this half. And about the 76ers, Richard, they've been impressive. Yeah, they've been on a 50-win pace for about the last five seasons. And with Joel Embiid every single year, you are going to be a contender. This is their window, and they are bringing in the talent to get it done. Philadelphia shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. First one falls for him. And some added toughness on the roster. Something Philly knew they needed after last year's playoffs. The hope is adding scrappy veterans like P.J. Tucker and DeAnthony Melton will help them further this go-round. That misses, so he splits the free throws. Nets trail by five. Irving dishes to O'Neal. Al Simmons. Outside, KD. Six on the shot clock. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Harris. Don't foul that guy. For, for his career, Durant is about 90% at the line. He's on two for two at the line so far. good from Durant a near seven footer KD shooting almost 90% from the line for his career that's a rare combination he's off on the second O'Neal misses that's not the type of opportunity he fails to convert very often. Takes it inside. Feibel can't get it to go. Nets trail by four. Outside, Simmons. Pass to Irving. Takes a three. No good on the shot. And it's Philadelphia the other way. Third quarter here, and three minutes have come off the clock. Passes it to Embiid. Here's Maxi. That's in. Coming off the assist from Embiid. Embiid's got four assists in the game. Brooklyn's gone one or two from beyond the arc since coming out of the break. Outside Irving. From deep. The shot will not fall. A 76ers leading by seven. Maxi passes to Embiid. They swipe it. Maxi against Simmons. Just over three and a half minutes through the third quarter of play now. 
And still a rare sight to see rebound numbers like the ones he's had tonight. He is totally in the zone, showing his incredible focus when it comes to attacking the glass. Now, Maxi, following Durant's three-point attempt. Harden sets the pick for Maxi. Down to five on the shot clock. Durant with the steal. Fires for three. That one's rebounded by Embiid. For Philadelphia, they've gone two of five, shooting here in the third quarter. Harden against Irving. Embiid wide open. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Embiid's got 15. Capable of playing either guard position. Harden's sense for when his teammates are open is ridiculous. Here's Irving. It's hauled in by the 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Maxi kicks to Harden. Harris up top. Over Durant. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Season after season, it seems like Tobias Harris only proves himself more invaluable. He's one of those glue guys. Stick him into almost any lineup and he can contribute. Points, rebounds, assist, whatever you need. And that's what makes him a precious commodity. The first one falls, and since Tobias Harris got his big contract with the Sixers, Greg, some say they chose him over Jimmy Butler. And while Tobias is nice, he's never been an all-star, and that's one of the few downsides to a big payday. Some might say he's overpaid. Now, I'm sure he'll take the trade-off. And Harris drops them both. A good percentage from here. Harris over 80% for his career. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Pass to Durant. O'Neal is screen on Harris. KD passes to O'Neal. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for Philadelphia. And the first one at the line is good. And he makes both free throws. Here's Harden. He's got 17. Now the pass to Thibel. Pass to Maxi. Five on the clock. Takes a shot at the elbow. Falls right in. He is eight for 11 with that shot. And even with the big lead, he remains focused on the task at hand. If he has space in the mid-range, he'll let it fly. Doesn't matter if the score is tied or they are up big. Now here's Simmons. Outside, KD. Solid shot from the distance of about 14 feet. KD's got 19 points. As versatile as they have come in NBA history, Durant just makes it look so easy. Harden the pass to Thibel. Harris outside. Here's Thibel. And Bede kicks to Thibel. Philadelphia needs to get a shot off. Maxi. His three pointers off the mark. Just enough coverage to bother that three point attempt. Here's Irving driving to the basket. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. And after all the drama and wanting out, Kyrie Irving 
remains a net. Feels like a bit of a farewell tour, but winning can heal all, and you never know what the future may hold, especially with Kyrie. And he knocks down the first one. And so Irving nails both of them. And so it's Harden bringing it up for Philadelphia. 17 points was their biggest margin. Right wing. It's deflected. Now here's Durant. He's got 19. Nets passing it around. Passes to Irving. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Now a timeout call by Brooklyn. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. I'm sure Coach is going to give them an earful about that. He can't be happy with that soft interior D. And the 76ers with some changes. The Anthony Melt. He's checked in for Matisse Thibel. And it's Jake Milton in for Maxi. Morris is checked in for the Nets. Mills comes in for Ben Simmons. Mills six points for him to the paint here's Claxton and that one clearly a foul gets the whistle and two shots coming up that one on MB and he's got his first free throw of the game First one drops. He hits both from the strike. Harris with it. Pass to Milton. Basket good. Milton's got five points so far. How about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. On the wing, Irving. Defended by Milton. Irving can't get it to go. Whatever rhythm he had last quarter, it has left his body. He is having a hard time finding buckets. Now, here's Milton. Five points in the game. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And he decides to go old school with the finger roll. The 76ers have made seven free throws and missed three in this game. Some changes for Brooklyn. Sharps checked in for Nicholas Claxton. And Thomas subbed in for Kyrie Irving.
And so it's Brooklyn with it. Trailing by 10. Out to the right wing. And there's the pass to Sharp. They set the pick. 18 feet out. That one a little long. The 76ers have gone a solid 6 of 11 when shooting here in the third quarter. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thanks very much, Kevin. Not that long ago, of course, the analytical team shot way more three-pointers, and they found a temporary edge. But now every team shoots a lot of threes, and it's more about personnel. When it's a superstar shooting the ball, that mid-range jumper can be very efficient. Guys? And D.A., we see it all the time. Brandon Ingram with the New Orleans Pelicans. K.D., uh, the two players in, in Phoenix with Chris Paul and Devin Booker. DeRozan in Chicago. They'll hit those all day long. David, thank you. And it's the 76ers with the ball. Following the three-pointer by Brooklyn. A shot by Milton. No good. Nets trail by nine. Thomas finds Mills from beyond the arc. Thomas's shot is off. And the well is running dry for him right now. Nothing falling. Yeah, and the risk now is that he gets inside his own head. Time to take deep breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, and let the game come to you. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And you know, the Anthony Melton's progression as a shooter has been impressive. Yeah, he struggled on the pull-up jumpers early in his career, but he worked at it, and now he's very efficient. His offense is almost as good as his defense at this point. Free throw drops for Melton. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Tobias Harris. And the Nets making a change here as well. Watsonabe's checked in. Melton hits them both. Now Mills. Nine points in the game so far. Outside Thomas. Back to Mills. Over Harden. Mills can't hit. The 76ers leading by 11. Milton the pass to Harden. Melton feeling it out a bit. Embiid sets the pick for Melton. Kicks it to Embiid. Four on the clock. Melton the pass to Embiid. Takes the assist and lays it in. Picked out the pass nicely. Embiid's got 19 points. Here's Thomas. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Pass to Sharp. He dishes it to Mills. Hits it from three-point range. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. 136 left to play here in the third. Harden outside. Pass to Tucker. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. And he gets it to go. Embiid's got eight here in the quarter. The team just loves to see Embiid fired up on offense like this. They really rely on his scoring ability. Mills finds Thomas. Down low. Here's Morris. It's not going to go for him. And Philadelphia the other way now. On the wing, Milton. Covered by Mills. Milton the pass to Harden. Pass to Milton. Let's the three fly. Good. It's Harden with the assist that time. Harden's got his third assist on the night. There you go again. A nice kick out after the D had collapsed on it. Nets trail by 15. Mills passes to Thomas. Back to Mills. And he drives in. That's good. He's five for nine.
and so it's Harden bringing it up for Philadelphia. Seven second difference, shot and game clock. The pass to Tucker. Cuts off the pass. Outside Thomas. From deep three-point range, and the last shot at the buzzer doesn't go in for it. And so it's Philadelphia looking at a 13-point lead heading into the next quarter. What a night they've had in terms of their shooting. Everything dropping in for them. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. Of 76ers leading by 13. So for Brooklyn now, we've got Mills. Duran is out there with Sharp. Then it's Thomas. And it's Watanabe in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Maxi With the drive, Thomas grabs the rebound. And for Brooklyn, they're shooting from the field. 44%, not bad. Here's Mills. Pass to Durant. Shot clock at five. The Nets need to get a shot off here. Embiid with the steal. Passes it to Maxi. Back to Melton. Over to the wing. Now here's MB. He's guarded close. Five to shoot. Harold dishes to MB. A three ball. And it's Harold missing. Nets trail by 13. Thomas surveying the D to the inside. And stolen by Feibel. Now, here's Melton, covered by Mills. Back to Thibel. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Just five to shoot. Here's Melton. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First free throw is good. Tobias Harris is checked in for the 76ers. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Now here's Durant. As to Watanabe. Feeds it to KD. And the rejection by Harris. A pass to Harris. Maxi kicks to Harris. The 76ers again can't hit it. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. Watanabe passes to Thomas. Here's Watanabe. There's the three. P.J. <laughs> Tucker, he's checked in for Philadelphia. Jake Milton comes in for Milton. And a new group in for the Nets. Nicholas Claxton's checked in for Sharp. O'Neal comes in for Watanabe. Irving's checked in for Thomas. And it's Ben Simmons in for Patty Mills. Carroll a screen on Irving. Milton the pass to Thibel. And there's the call on Matisse Thibel. That's his fifth foul. 
Yeah, really good defensive play to cut him off there and square up. Nets trail by 15. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. Bounce pass from Durant. Irving kicks to Durant. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Irving's got assist number five here tonight. This demonstrates leadership. Durant knows his teammates look for him to score and score often. The 76ers have gone 0-3 to start the fourth quarter. Third minute of action now gone here in the fourth. Pass to Maxi. Back to Thibel. From the arc. There's Harold, and it's blocked. And here is O'Neal. Dishes it to Simmons. Inside. Paxton with the bucket. Beautiful to see Simmons working in pick and roll sets. He just knows when to shoot as well as when to pass to his teammates. And that was another look at the fantastic mobile one drive that happened a moment ago. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Now, here's Maxi. The 76ers again can't hit it. Here's Irving. And the lead is down inside single digits. Irving's got 23. And it's that fantastic touch on the floater. And that's one of many reasons why Kyrie is considered one of the most skilled players of all time. And the 76ers call time here. Some changes for Philadelphia. Embiid comes in for Montrez Harrell. And it's Harden in for Maxi. The Nets also changing it up. Markeith Morris is checked in for Durant. Watanabe comes in for O'Neal. And it's Mills in for Ben Simmons. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin. During the last break, I heard Doc Rivers talking with his team. He talked about the mindset they need to have and what he wants to see the rest of the way engagement at both ends and making good decisions with the ball guys thank you david now here's mb off target from the baseline now here's mills he's covered closely watanabe passes to claxton nets passing it around irving dishes to mills back to irving a three. Rebound by the 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. Milton with it. Embiid the screen. Milton kicks to Embiid. Another miss by Philadelphia. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Irving passes to Claxton. There's the dish to Mills. 
and a miss there on the triple. Philadelphia leading by eight. Now Thibel kicks it out to Harden. To the middle. He's looking for Embiid and finds him. And it's blocked. Here's Mills. Here's Irving. A shot missing. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Harden outside. Passes it to Tucker. Fades back. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist from Tucker. Embiid's got 23 points. Not surprised at all. He's shooting it well and scoring points in bunches. Here's Irving. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Milton's got four rebounds now tonight. Pass to Harden. Three-pointer. Number 12 goes in. He's made seven of 12 now. Never scared to shoot from deep. The lefty stroke of Harden. Oh, man, it's so fun to watch. It's the Nets now. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Timeout called the Nets. Joel Embiid with a strong contribution in this one. He's been on an absolute tear inside. They've got to figure out a way to keep him out of the lane. I don't know. Some changes for Philadelphia. Harris has checked in for P.J. Tucker. De'Anthony Melton comes in for Matisse Thibel. And Maxi subbed in for Shake Milton. Then for the Nets, Kevin Durant, he's checked in for Morris. O'Neal comes in for Watanabe. And it's Ben Simmons in for Patty Mills. Maxie against Irving. Simmons looking around. And the dunk by O'Neal. In that pass-first nature of Simmons, outstanding at understanding when his teammates are open. The 76ers leading by 11. The pass to Harris. Now Embiid. Maxie in the corner. That's in, coming off the assist from Embiid. Maxie's got nine points here in the second half. Simmons against Harden. Ben Simmons gets the bucket. A strong physical player in his own right. Simmons finishing through the contact. Now, here's Melton. Pass to Harris. And here's MB. Here's Maxi. Off target from outside. Nets trail by 12. Irving dishes to Simmons. Back to Irving. 
There's the drive. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. The quick feet of Kyrie Irving carving his way through the defense. Man, this guy, he can get anywhere at any time. And so it's Harden bringing it up for the 76ers. 17 points was their biggest margin. And they double up in B. Maxi in the corner. And the three off target. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And here is Simmons. Outside Irving. Let's it go with the three. The basket good off the assist from Simmons. Simmons got his fifth assist in this one. The 76ers leading by six. Harden the pass to Melton. Out to the wing. Here's Embiid. And no good. The dry spell continuing for him. And Simmons kicks to Irving. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Maxi. A walking triple-double threat. Simmons needs to keep working on developing that jump shot to be truly unguardable. He's off on the first. And Ben Simmons, the epitome of a point forward. He passes it well and plays huge for a guard at six foot eleven. It's crazy. It is very rare to see a player of his size with his skill set. He hits the second from the line. Greg Ben Simmons, one of four players in the entire history of the NBA to average at least seven rebounds and seven assists per game through his first four seasons. Think about it, Jordy. Magic Johnson, Oscar Robinson, and Luka Doncic. That is some pretty elite-level company. And they've got to talk to each other on D there. Miscommunication, and now he's able to make them pay. Nets trail by eight. Up top, Simmons, guarded by Harden. Irving for three. Rebound by the 76ers. You know what? He's got to look to get other guys involved. The three-point stroke is off. Passes it to Maxi. Here's Embiid. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And it's a 10-point 76ers lead. Irving against Maxi. Outside Irving. Drilled from 11 feet out. Irving's got 10 points in the quarter. This is just one of those blow-up nights for Kyrie. So lethal when he's feeling his best. And Philadelphia calls time here.
they can take their time on this possession. Yeah, it wouldn't be a bad idea just giving themselves a little bit of a break. Here's Embiid. Not going to go that time. And Brooklyn will now go the other way with it. Here's Simmons. Oh. Put it down! Whoa! Oh my oh, gracious wow. way to get up. And all of a sudden, that great run makes this a ball game again. And now is no time to take your foot off the gas. They have got to stay aggressive. It's one thing to get close, but do they have enough left in the tank to take the lead? We'll have to see. Now here's Harden. And Harden with the stuff. Athletic move by Harden. Okay, I see you throwing it down on top of the defense. And there's a minute 45 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Outside Irving. Off target with his three. And it's Harden with the ball for Philadelphia. 17 points was their biggest margin. Pass to Harris. He feeds it to Embiid. It's hauled in by Claxton. Claxton's got nine rebounds in the game. Heading it done. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And just using that length to his full advantage. Durant draws the foul, and we know what usually happens when he steps to the line. the first one and that narrows the gap to seven. And so Durant nails them both. And good aggressive basketball on that trip. Drawing the foul, converting the free throws, and then also narrowing the gap. Maxi with the screen on Simmons. Embiid with it. And they double up Embiid. It's hauled in by Claxton. Brooklyn's gone a disappointing two of six on three point attempts here in the fourth. On its way from Irving for two. Count it! And now they trail by just four. Someone who loves the biggest moments. Kyrie hit one of the biggest shots in NBA history. Believe me, I was there. And they go to the intentional foul. And we got to take a second look to admire that outstanding block. And, and guys, they'll think twice about attempting that shot again. That was a big-time rejection. 43 seconds left in the fourth quarter. It's stolen. And you know what? The double team there, that quick hitter, threw up for a loop there and forced the turn. Irving for three. Outside for Durant. It counts. And what a sensational bucket to bring them within one. I see -E, ice. He has absolute ice in his veins. This guy, he lives for these moments. And the 76ers call time here. They're up by one. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter.
27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. And now they decide to foul intentionally. the first one and that will put them up by two but you know Harden always looks confident at the line even in a clutch situation second one is good in both at the line and it's a three-point game and those were some big time shots those free throws helping make this a three-point game now a timeout called by Brooklyn they're trailing by three 27 seconds left to play here in the fourth. A timeout call by Brooklyn. They're down by three. 27 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Twenty-seven seconds left in the fourth. Irving against Maxi. Irving can't get it to go. 
And an intentional foul there stops the clock. Yeah, that's right. No other option but the foul and hope for some misses. So the first one drops, and that gives them a four-point cushion. Oh, this line is like a home away from home for Harden. He really looks relaxed and ready to shoot. And so he drops them both. It's a five-point game. And I don't need to tell you guys, those free throws are big. Two-possession game now. Jacks up a three. O'Neal misses. And there's the call on Kyrie Irving. And so he's picked up his final foul, and he will sit for the rest of this game. Yeah, tough break for him there. But they'd have a tough time coming back from this deficit, no matter who's on the floor. First free throw is good, and that increases their lead to six. So he gets them both, and it's a seven-point game. There's O'Neal with the three. Headshot off. So the 76ers win it. Probably a little closer than they would have liked it, but a win nonetheless. Yeah, but I really got a sense that the fans gave them that emotional boost that was needed down the stretch. This crowd, man, they were electric. And that'll do it, folks. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching as New Balance presents our player of the game, Joel Embiid.